We're here with the legendary Jim Cantori oh, from the Weather Channel, pretty much invented hurricane coverage as we know it today. What jumped out at you about this one in particular? I mean, this is my 114th storm, depression, hurricane. So yeah, I've, I've been out here a while. They're all different. I can tell you that right now. And, and what's really interesting is I really thought, oh my gosh, you're looking down at Tallahassee and then Atlanta dealing with an eye wall or whatever's left of that eye wall. This is going to be horrible. A direct hit here would have been the worst hurricane in Tallahassee history. All right. But instead, now we're looking at it and saying, okay, you know what? This is the third hurricane in three months in this area. This seems to be the spot all of a sudden for, for, for Mother Nature's wrath. But it shifted east just enough at the last minute to kind of save Tallahassee. And then it went even farther east to save Atlanta from the wind. Now, we're not saved from the water in Atlanta. There's a big flood going on back there. That said, record storm surge, historic flooding in Western North Carolina, and we're still seeing it unfolding. And when you say that we're lucky that the storm shifted east, for those people who may not be familiar with how hurricanes go, you know, why, why is it important? The fact that it shifted east, we, it took us out of that eye wall. That's the most powerful part of the hurricane, that little circulation that spins around and produces the strongest gusts and, and strongest sustained winds. That's where all, most of the damage is occurring. And that's what we thought was gonna go right up Interstate 75 into Atlanta after it left here. I mean, we had hurricane warnings for the south side of Atlanta, which is just crazy. I mean, you're talking about the sixth largest city in the United States now um, at over 8 million people. So it's just crazy when you think about that. But the fact that it went so much farther east took these two major metro areas out of it. Sadly, it put you know Valdosta in it, it put uh, Augusta, Athens, uh, Greenville, Spartanburg, Asheville, North Carolina, they're all in the worst of this. Overall takeaway from this storm. What I want everybody to think about for a second is this is our fourth landfalling hurricane of the season. That's above average. You know, that's that's almost by two. And we're not done. Yeah, there's still a lot of hurricane yeah. season left to go. Jim Cantori. Thanks, Tom. Thank Appreciate you, you, brother.